Hey there, good folks. It's Ken Kunin, and I hope you are rocking wherever you're watching. Today, I want to talk about team building. If you're a musician, at some point and on some level, you're going to need to build a team. And that holds true whether you're perhaps a solo artist and you want to record music that requires instrumentation that you can't do yourself, or if you don't have the, a studio that is, uh, for example, in your home, or the expertise. So then what? All right, let's take the solo artist, for example, or where they, in their mind, it's like, cool, I can sing, I can play guitar, I can play piano. You're going to have to find other musicians. Now, the place that you really want to start, first and foremost, is your own backyard. Wherever you may live, you're going to have to look around. You might have to ask on Facebook, social media, but really, you got to get your backside out to gigs and go, wow, you know what? That lead guitar player is smoking hot. I'd like to hire them or at least chat to them to see if they have a similar vision to what you're offering. And they may say, hey, look, I can't do it. I'm too busy. However, talk to this person, a mate of mine. And the same will hold true with, you know, Susie, the drummer. Yeah, she's great. And she happens to know a bass player. Bam, you got your rhythm section. But you don't find this one. You don't, you don't find them and you don't interact with them unless you actually take the time and effort to get out there. So that would be a case of if you're trying to build a band. In my own case, uh, my own scenario with the Crooked Sky, that actually took me three very painful years to get the right four people in the room. Let me tell you, it was painful. There were some players that were not right that after a gig or two or even rehearsals, you say thanks but no thanks. And you have to be brutal because if you want to be proud of something, you, it's got to be strong from the bottom all the way to the top. So, all right, let's say that you've put together a band and you've got these great songs and it's time to record and you don't have a studio and you're not a recording engineer and you're not a producer, then what? Well, then it's about, again, asking around. It's who's out there locally that, can, that we can go in and record. Are we going to have to take a, uh, a short trip to get somewhere? That's the case. Here's the thing, you're going to be an artist it's not going to be easy. I'll, I'll dispel that myth right now. There ain't nothing easy about it. And that means that you're going to have to go out of your way so you can actually get something that you're proud of. You're going to have to also be realistic. You can't have, you know, Porsche budget uh, or Porsche dreams and a very, very small budget. So it's about being realistic with what you're after. A lot of times I found you do, however, get what you pay for. And particularly with engineers, that whether they do live sound, recording sounds, whether they're mixing engineers, mastering, the people that are good, guess what? They've been at it for a long time. They've been honing their craft, maybe the same way that you have been as a, as a songwriter or as a band member. So don't expect that, uh, that they're going to do it for free. You shouldn't ask for it. Their time is money. You wouldn't go in and do your nine to five job and say, hey, you know what? Look, I'll do it on spec. And uh, if it works out, then terrific. You're going to get what you pay for. But what you need to do is you need to investigate who's doing what. And I'll give you an example. Um, about three years ago or two years ago, before coming out with an album called Living in Wynnum, I had actually recorded the great majority of all the tracks and I needed someone to have some objective ears. I needed someone to, to mix it. And what I did was I went online and I saw who was doing it online and I found a fellow called Luke Woolett. And he's a young fellow. He was at that point just recently out of a recording academy, but I loved his mixes. And with him, it was a matter of, okay, I'm gonna send them through. And he was also a lead guitar player and played bass. So he's able to actually play on a few tracks. That was about me looking in listening to find someone that actually ticked the boxes of what I need, needed. And when you've actually mixed a record, guess what? It's not done. The next stage, you're going to have to find another team member. And what that team member is a mastering engineer. And I found a mastering engineer and he was great. He mastered uh, the Living in Wynnum project, loved it. When it was time to get, uh, when Luke had actually finished with the mixes for the Ken Kuhn and the Crooked Sky, I'm the fixer. Uh, part one, it was like, all right, we got a master to call up the guy. Hey, Dom, are you ready to ma No, Dom's actually taking a straight job. He's no longer a master. I'm like, shit. So I call him up and I said, help me out. Who else is out there that's as good as you, if not better? And he said, well, 
hey, well, here's a fellow that actually mentored me. He's in uh, Melbourne. His name is, is Tony Jack Mance. Here's his number. So I called Tony. I first off, before I listened, before I called Tony, I listened to different songs that he had mastered. And I could tell in a very short time, because I've been doing this a long time, this fella has the goods. He's got the goods in terms of ears. He's got the goods in terms of equipment, both analog and digital. And he was a super cool guy, and we have a great relationship now. Very happy with his work. But then it's about building the team, and that team can expand. What if you want to do a music video? And the same thing will hold true. You're going to have to see who is doing what. In my case, I was able to find a fellow that uh, had just finished film school, and we were working on a screenplay together. A great guy had a similar vision, and he was able to shoot and edit it. One step at a time. Think about what you're going to need as a team to be able to put out the best product that you can actually put out. Remember again, their time is worth money and that's how they're feeding their families. So that is really crucial. But what you will find is the longer that you take to build your team down the track, it's going to save you a lot of time and you're going to know what you're going to get. I know that if I give Luke a call and say, hey, these next five songs are ready to be mixed, I know what I'm going to get. The same thing with Tony and mastering. So you got to be patient and you got to do likewise. It's not going to happen overnight, but when you build a team, and believe me, every successful artist and band in time builds a team. Because why? Because you want to know that you're going to get a quality project at the end. And that's what it's about. It's about facilitating your dream. And you can't do that alone unless you happen to be a, a great recording uh, engineer and you have all the gear and you have your own studio. And oh, by the way, you happen to be a whiz at social media and marketing. And oh, by the way, you're, you're great with video and on and on. Unless that's you, unless you can take every single box, build your team. Do it patiently, but get it done. You'll sleep a little better at night and also your dreams will come true in terms of portraying your art the way that you want it portrayed. Till then, you keep rocking, you keep writing, and wait. But wait, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, shh, shh, you make sure that you subscribe to it, you make sure that you hit that notification, that bell, so you can be updated on great songs that are coming out. And uh, also let me know in the comments below if there is a topic that you want me to address, and uh, we might also do some live streams where we can uh, talk back and forth. All right, now I'm really gonna say keep rocking, keep writing, Enjoy your weekend. Keep well. Adios.